Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to create an H1 tag in your Weebly site. This video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on Weebly Tricks, and I will post a link to that written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Okay, so this is the demo site that we'll be using for this tutorial. Just a standard Weebly page with what appears to be like a mock article here down at the bottom. The H1 tag, we're going to stick right above this body text right here. So it's going to go right in this uh, space right here. This is going to be the H1 tag. This text right here is the H2 tag. And this is just the paragraph text. Okay. So let's get started. Step one, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Back to the Weebly editor. Go to theme at the top. Click on edit HTML forward slash CSS on the bottom left. And that will give us access to Wheelie's HTML CSS editor. Step two, add HTML code. Copy the HTML code that's provided in the written tutorial. Back to the Wheelie editor. Okay. Now under header type, choose the page layout that you want the H tag, I'm sorry, that you want the H1 tag to appear in. So for this particular uh, site, we're going to throw the H1 tag into the header page layout. Scroll down on the right here, locate your main content areas div. For this particular theme, uh, the main content area is defined by this div right here, id equal main, obviously. So I'm going to paste the code that I copied from the written step-by-step -step tutorial directly above the main content areas code. So I'm going to make some space here, right click, paste it in, and I'm going to make that look nice. Okay. There we go. Um, if you would like, um, if you would like the H1 tag to appear on the no header page layout, just repeat this process for that page layout as well. I'm not going to do it for this uh, tutorial though. Step three: Add H1 tag CSS code. Copy the CSS code that's provided in the written tutorial. Back to the Weebly editor. On the left, under Styles, click on main.ls. On the right, locate the h2 tags uh, CSS code. Scroll down. It's usually at the top. Here it is. And we're going to put the h1 tags CSS code directly above it. Just because it makes sense. Uh, it just makes sense. You know, h1, h2. Paste that in there. Okay. And we're going to click Save. And you can see here that um, a text uh, element has appeared that says click here to edit. So this is the H1 tag. To add the H1 tag, you just click here to edit, as it says. So we're going to type in our uh, H1 title tag here. Liberties, precarious. Now yeah, we're going to do it. Fragile and precarious. Make sure I think it's about that right. Yeah. All right. Uh, publish that. Okay, and you'll see there's our H1 title tag, and I will even right click on it, inspect it just to show you that it is identified. See right here, H1 tag. Search engines will pick up on this body of text as this page is H1. Uh, this page is H1 tag. Okay, but you're like, but you're pressing, Chris. There's a large gap here. How do I get rid of this large gap? Okay, well, first let's identify this large gap, and it's actually just the um, the top space, the top padding of the main content area. So I'm gonna show you here. Here's the H1 tag, and here's the main content uh, main content area. So if I open this up, you'll see that the large green space here. Um, is just the top padding for the main content area. You can choose to get rid of this. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of this for this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I need to actually, um, I'm going to use the CSS code hashtag main dot container. So I'm going to identify, uh, just, and I can see actually that um, within the CSS file, this theme, that code doesn't exist except it is. It does, but it's grouped with other CSS codes. But it's not by itself. It's not isolated. So I'm going to create an isolated code. I'm going to copy this code right here. 
Okay, I'm going to head back into the CSS file. Back to the editor, theme at the top. Edit HTML forward slash CSS on the bottom. Your styles, click on main.less. Going to locate the main content areas. Uh, this is going to add right there, it's not in here. So I'm going to find an area. Okay, so here's main. I'm going to stick this right below it. All right, so what we're doing is we're, at, we're applying CSS coding to the container class div within the uh, main content areas ID div. So we're going to open curly, open curly bracket, close in curly bracket, and we want to change the top padding of those areas. We're going to write padding up one em. Okay. As you can see. The uh, large space underneath the H1 tag has disappeared. Publish that. Refresh. And you can see it is, and it has disappeared on the live side as well. Okay. And let me show you lastly real quick here. Um, if I wanted to create a new page... Another standard page. And you can see that the H1 click here to edit text automatically appears. Just type in your you know your H1 uh, title tag for this page. Don't have a title for this page yet. And you just repeat this process for every page that you create. Okay. Alright guys, so that is how to create an H1 tag in your Weebly site.